Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to use Agent Force versions to continuously iterate and improve your agents with zero downtime. This is crucial for keeping your AI agents effective and up to date without interrupting your customers. But first, let's take a look at the agent we'll be updating today. This is a concierge agent running on version one. This version of our agent can handle simple single event bookings for guests who are logged in on the Coral Cloud Resort website. Let's ask our concierge agent to book the historical landmarks tour experience for two guests. Okay, it's working as expected. Version one can handle single event bookings just fine. But wouldn't it be great if this agent could plan a whole day for a guest using their interests and experiences that exist inside of Salesforce? And wouldn't it be great if we could add this improvement to our agent without deactivating it? That's where versions come in. With versions, we can create a new version of our agent, update it, and deploy it to our customers with zero downtime. Now to manage versions, you'll need the manage AI agents permission in Salesforce, as well as the necessary permission for whichever agent you're updating. If you're a system admin, especially in the new agent force enabled dev edition, you likely already have this via the default permission set for your user. Just double check your profile if you run into any issues. So let's create a new version to work on. Inside of Salesforce setup and agent force agents, we'll find our concierge agent. Here we'll find a version dropdown for our agent. We'll click on the dropdown for version one and click clone version. And there we go. Now we have version two listed as inactive because it doesn't have a check mark. We can have up to 20 versions of our agent. Let's update version two. We want to enhance our concierge agent to recommend full personalized day schedules, not just single events. Notice that if we click on the versions, we see that version one is active and version two is inactive. This confirms that our changes won't affect live users yet. Let's say we want our agent to use our guest preferences that we have inside of Salesforce to suggest a logical itinerary of activities. I'm going to add an agent force action that I created that does exactly that. It generalizes a personalized schedule using information inside of the contact record. I'll add it to our topic as an action. Okay, now let's do a quick test inside of Agent Builder to make sure it works as expected. Let's ask for a personalized schedule. Great, the agent's able to create a personalized schedule for the customer that we just used for our test. Now, while we're activating this directly here for demonstration, remember that the recommended best practice, especially for agents, is to perform your cloning, updates, and thorough testing in a dedicated sandbox environment first. When we're happy with our version, we can roll it out by clicking activate. And we can confirm that this is the active version by clicking on the versions dropdown where we see that version two is now active. Note that only one version can be active at a time ensuring that users are always interacting with the designated live version of your agent force agent. Now here's the key part. This switch happened instantaneously with zero downtime. Let's head back to our Coral Cloud Resort website where a guest will interact with the action and ask for a personalized schedule. And there it is. The agent uses the updated version two action to provide a personalized schedule. With versions, you can safely update, thoroughly test, and instantly deploy changes to your agent force agents, ensuring continuous improvement with zero downtime. Want to learn more about agent force versions and building powerful AI agents on a Salesforce platform? Check out the links on your screen or in the description below. And be sure to check out the agent force decoded playlist and the Salesforce developer YouTube channel for more Agent Force and Salesforce content. See you in the next video.